Hi everybody, welcome to the show. Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Raising A to Z, a YouTube channel all about homeschooling. My name is Amanda. I am a teacher turned homeschool mom. So today I have a haul for you. I am doing my annual back to school supply haul and I'm gonna show you everything that I picked up when I went out the other day. I was out doing errands and I decided to stop at Walmart and they had everything that I needed. So I decided to pick up my supplies. Also wanna mention this is not sponsored by Walmart. I just happened to find that they usually have the best sales um, for back to school and they typically have everything I need in one spot. So it just makes my life easy. And so I was there and I decided to get everything while they had all the options out. And so I'm gonna show you what I picked up. I'm gonna tell you how I use them and what my plans for them are and why I love some of these products over others. So you definitely wanna stick around and see what I've got. Having done homeschooling for a couple years and having, being a bit of a, like a, sales guru i'm always looking for sales price matching coupons all of that and i pay attention to when sales come up and this is one of the things that i've, I've noticed is that the back to school sales stuff is the best price it's going to be all year it's just hands down the best price so i do tend to buy a lot now and 99 percent of the time it lasts me through the whole year so while this does look like a very big haul i also remind you that this is like all the supplies for the next 12 months with my kids. I do find this is the best time. Like some of the things that I'm picking up today, I'm buying multiple packs of them because when they run out midway through the year to replace them, it's gonna cost me two or three times the price. So I do do a very big haul at the beginning of the year, right now when there's all the sales. And the sales usually last from like the beginning of August in our area to kind of like the second week of September. So you have a nice big window to pick things up. I tend to do it earlier just because I want the full selection, but you, I do know some people who like to wait until after like the kids go back to like public school. They say the prices go down even maybe a little bit more, but because these are non-perishables, they don't tend to drop drastically in price. If anything, they'll just be held in stock and put back up the regular price later on. So I do a huge haul now. And like I said, this is gonna last me pretty much the next 12 months. Before I show you what I did get, I'm gonna tell you what I didn't get. So there are a few things that I didn't pick up this year. And it's not because I don't need them or because we don't want them or they're bad or anything. It's just, we just didn't happen to need them. I did not pick up erasers. Uh, last year I managed to pick up these little pencil topper erasers. I grabbed some at the dollar store and I still have half a pack left. They were the Crayola ones. If you wanna see that video, just know specifically, I'll put a link down below from last year's haul. But uh, yeah, so I'd, I still have half a pack of those. So I, don't, I didn't need erasers. Um, I still have rulers. I still have scissors for my kids. Um, I still have watercolor paints. We bought the Crayola watercolor paints, which are fantastic. They were at Walmart, they were on sale for $3.50 for a pack of like 18 colors. They lasted us all year and we do watercoloring pretty much two or three times a month, if not more than that. We got the minimum. And we still have lots and lots of watercolor paint left. So I just, we didn't buy any more. We didn't pick up pencil sharpeners because I have an electric pencil sharpener in our homeschool room. If you, are homeschooling, I highly, highly, highly recommend that you invest in an electric pencil sharpener. It makes your life so much easier. You don't have pencil shavings everywhere. Kids of any age can sharpen their pencil. It's so much easier and faster. I highly recommend it. I have one, I'll put a link down below as well because it was just, it just made my life so much easier. Those are things that I did not have to pick up this year. I looked through our, our homeschool room and our activity room, our storage closet, and looked through every all of our supplies before I went to the store. So I kind of had an idea of what we needed and what we already had. So those are things that typically you might need to look into getting. Um, if you are new to homeschooling, you're trying to figure out what you need, you might want to look into those, but I, I already have them, so I didn't buy new ones. So I have a whole big box here. It's literally a box because Walmart doesn't do bags anymore. First thing I picked up was this giant pack of construction paper. My kids go through construction paper like crazy. Specific colors too, like the red and the pink were totally out of. White were totally out of. 
we're almost out of yellow and orange and purple. They go through a lot of a lot of construction paper. They use this for everything from crafts to they make clothes for their toys and their dolls and stuff out of the construction paper. We go through a lot of construction paper. And once the school supply sales are over, I find this really a hard to find. It's like these big, nice big packs are hard to find. Um, so I definitely picked up a pack of this and my kids have free access to construction paper whenever they want, so they do go through it. We only have one rule when it comes to construction paper, which is no confetti. I feel like that's a self-explanatory rule. They're not allowed to cut it up into confetti. Other than that, they can, they can do whatever they want with it. And they use it to make books, like I said, they make clothes for their dolls and toys, and so we go through a lot of construction paper so i definitely picked up a new box of that regular paper i picked up a couple reams of just regular printer paper for a variety of reasons um this is great for printing off any like worksheets unit studies that i have and also like sometimes the kids want to write books they want to make cards for somebody and so just having some like basic multi-purpose paper was the way to go right definitely needed some paper and something i picked up this year that's a little bit different for us i picked up a pack of grid paper because i know that we're going to be getting into a little bit more graphing and a little bit more like drawing specific things and i think the grid paper will be helpful do i think we'll go through the whole pack no do i think we'll probably only use a few sheets yes but again it's paper it doesn't go bad and so this can this will probably last us a couple of years if i put it in like a binder or something and just pull it out when i need it but i think it'll come in handy over the next couple of years so something else i picked up this year that i've actually don't typically pick up but i think now that my kids are a little bit older we're going to be needing them a little bit more i picked up some duo tangs I know that in the States you guys call these folders or file folders. Um, duotangs, if you don't know, are basically like these little books with these little tabbies. We call them duotangs in Canada. Report covers is also, apparently that's what they're called as well. Anyway, I picked up a whole bunch of these duotangs. We're moving into an age where I am doing more, we always do unit studies, but I've actually bought a couple of unit studies and have like things that I need to print off. And so I want to have things for them to put their unit studies in, obviously. But even last year we had, I had like, I think I had three or four left over from my teaching days in a closet somewhere. And Alexi wrote a story with her meme in French. And so she like wrote and illustrated a story with meme and then she needed like a cover for it. So these are great for like finishing off like a paper or finishing off a story that they've written and making it look a little bit more professional gets them really excited so I definitely picked these up they were 15 cents each and of course though I did have to get all the colors and I think that'll be a lot of fun I picked up some notebooks uh, again the best time of year to pick up notebooks especially if you want like the cute covers like how cute are these some of these are mine I'm not even gonna lie these two B ones I'm like obsessed with the hexagon yellow grid pattern B pattern whatever you want to call it so I definitely picked up two for myself and then I picked up two for the kids and they weren't with me because I don't typically shop for school supplies with the kids because I it's just I'm distracted and I have like what I want in my mind. So I just send them pictures <laughs> there with dad and I just send them pictures of the covers that they wanted. And so one of them picked this like rainbow tie dye and this one is a kitty. I'm not really sure who picked which one. I think this is Alexi and I think this is Zoe. Pretty sure. But that's what they picked. And these yeah, you can buy them cheaper. You can buy like the plain solid colored ones for like a dollar or something right now. These were three bucks, but three bucks with a really cute cover. Fantastic. And these are just fun for like taking notes for them to do. Um, sometimes they use one for their French lessons with their, with their meme. Sometimes we have them for different activities. We just use a lot of notebooks for a lot of things. So getting a really cute covers at this time of year. This is why I go early because I want all the cute covers. And then we're getting into like the smaller stuff. Other things that I picked up, glue. I got a couple bottles of this um, like white glue. I, I think I only bought two bottles because I don't find we, oh no, I bought four. I bought four bottles. I don't find we go through this quite as much as we go through this. We go through a lot of glue sticks. Glue sticks are, they're a hot commodity around here. Um, but I did pick this up, especially since I know we're gonna be doing more like printed things with hat that have kind of like a cut and glue kind of aspect. I did pick this up, um, but I did pick up a lot of these glue sticks. I need to talk about the glue sticks. So I don't know about you, but when I go to Walmart and I'm shopping, some things are never where they're supposed to be and they're not all grouped together. So when I went through the school supply seasonal section at the front of the store, 
this pack of glue sticks was not there. They had like a 12 pack of glue sticks, but it was half purple glue sticks and like the magic purple or whatever. And then it was half scented glue sticks. And I wasn't buying it. A, they were quite expensive. And B, I don't want my kids sniffing glue. It's just, you know what I mean? Like they're distracted enough doing their work. I don't need to add another sensory element to their activities of sniffing different scented glue. Like, and I don't think it's a really healthy skill to be teaching kids anyway. Um, so I was gonna buy just some regular glue sticks. They did have them, but they didn't seem to be like a great price. And so then I was wandering down, kind of down the grocery aisle where they had some like ends and things in the middle of the aisles. And I found some there that I picked up. And then I went down another aisle and I found another bunch of glue sticks, which where I found these ones. This was, uh, this is what, six? It was $2.22 for a pack of six, which was the best price in the store. But like I said, they had glue sticks, all different sizes, all different packaging configurations throughout the store, which was a little annoying. But I did find these $2.22 for a pack of six. Yeah, I got three packs and they only get one each at a time. Um, but they will go through these like crazy. Oh, Zoe especially, Zoe's. She's my tactile kid, she likes to touch them. So we go through a lot of glue sticks. Pencils. I got two packs of paper made pencils. I know some people who are obsessed with some other pencil brands, the super long one that I can't say, but I just don't find they are that superior. And as someone who really loves supplies and loves stationary supplies, I am very happy paying for these. Um, I find Paper Mates, it's a really nice pencil. It lasts really well. It's a very good quality. You have a nice, it makes a nice dark mark without being like overly dark. It erases well. And it's like, I think it was less than two bucks for a pack of 24 compared to other brands that you're looking at three to five dollars on sale for eight pencils. So for this price, A, it's a better price. I think they're a really, really good pencil to begin with. I enjoy using them, they like them. I think they're just one of the better pencil products out there. So, ooh, again, talking about Papermate, I often buy the Papermate Flares pens for myself because I do like them as a colored pen option. I still have packs, a pack from last year sitting in a cupboard. So I didn't pick any up this year, but I always pick up a pack of these, the Papermate Inkjoy pens. So these are like, I don't know if you can see, they're like rainbow, pack of like rainbow colored pens. Alexi loves these because they just make writing so much fun. And a back to school season, it's a pack of 10. They sell these for 98 cents for 10 pens um, and they're colored pens. So I often pick up one or two of these packs and Alexi still has some, they're still good for right now. But I will probably put this away for Christmas because this makes a great stocking stuffer for her and it just makes writing a little bit more fun. So definitely something I like to pick up and they're just really pretty. They write really nice. They're really smooth to write with. Um, if you like a ballpoint pen and they're colored. So cool product. And for a buck, less than a buck, you can't even beat the price, right? Another thing I pick up when I am doing back to school shopping every year is I pick up a whole bunch of markers. My kids are obsessed with markers. They use markers for everything. Like as long as they're not doing like adding, subtracting kind of activities, I let them use markers all the time. I let them do their their writing in markers it i figure if they enjoy doing it and it makes them happy and it takes out some of the argument of it then i let them do it with the marker and markers are a lot easier especially for younger kids because they don't have to put as much pressure to get the color and to get the the lines so for a lot of kids especially little kids writing with a marker is a lot easier for them than writing with a pencil and it's a lot easier on their hand like it's not as stressful so physically it's easier they get more reward because they can actually see their writing better it's colorful so for a lot of reasons we use a lot of markers i buy five packs yeah i got three of these ultra washable 10 packs these are like the big markers i have three of these my kids get one at a time and these were $1.98 less than two bucks for a pack. I will say this one has the two bonus markers. So it has the light blue and the pink. They had regular Crayola markers that did not have the bonus and they were not on sale. So definitely make sure you're picking up the ones that are on sale because the price is so much better. And these 20 pack of like the fine point with the multiple colors, 
again, you can't beat the price. These were also $1.98. They do the trick. They do the trick. They can blend them. I also am a huge fan of Crayola markers because they are super, super, super washable. We've had two incidents with markers. One, Alexi took the cap off a black marker and left it in her bed when she was little. And we didn't know for hours. And basically the her bedding just like soaked up all of the ink out of the marker. Not, not anybody's fault, but it, it did happen. And I thought we had ruined her bedding because her bedding was very, very light. It was like white and yellow, washed right out. Like no extra stain remover, no extra detergent, nothing, just washed right out. And then we also had an incident where Zoe colored herself from armpits to diaper, purple. Uh, I didn't even need soap. I just put her in the shower and literally just rinsing her, it came off. So they, when they say super, like they are washable, they are very washable, very nice pigment colors. They're probably one of the better markers out there. I've yet to see a marker that I'm more impressed with. So definitely buy the Crayola. I will spend the extra money now to pick the whole bunch up. And like I said, I buy, these will also be stocking stuffers. So whatever we have been, usually by Christmas, we need to replace markers anyway, because that's how many markers we go through. So by Christmas, I'll be, they can get a pack for in their stockings or under the Christmas tree. So we use a lot of markers and now's the time to stock up because this, like I said, they're less than two bucks now. These will be seven to six to $7 in October. And these will probably be closer to eight or nine. So that's what I got. Uh, I picked up these little highlighters. I think they're a dollar. My kids don't use highlighters a lot, but they do like the idea of highlighters. So I do buy them like a little, these little ones, they were a dollar each. Makes them happy. They use it for like sometimes for like their spelling or like their phonics, like circling or underlining kind of things, but they don't use them as much, but it does make them very happy. So for a dollar each. This was not so much a, it wasn't really super on sale, but it was on sale, um, tape. I never expected tape to be such a hot commodity. We go through so much tape. Like this will probably last me till Christmas and then I will restock with the Christmas sales when it comes up. But yeah, we go through a lot of tape. They use it for all kinds of art projects. They use, like I said, with the construction paper to make clothes for their dolls and their toys. We go through so much tape. So I definitely picked up a little bit of that. I picked up some scissors for myself because you always need scissors. These are 336. So really good price, really good brand, really good scissors. I've had these before. So I picked up two pairs for myself to have around the house. Post-it notes. These are like a secret weapon in getting little kids to write. They're small. They feel like they're secret little notes. They love writing on post-it notes. So I definitely picked these up. They are four bucks. These packs, if these colors specifically, were $4 for, what is that? Six packs of post-it notes each. And they're fantastic. You can get kids to write sight words. You can get kids to write little notes to each other. And they like it because they can stick it around the house. You make word walls. You can make question walls. Like so many things you can do with post-it notes. You can keep track of your pages in your book, like bookmarks. They're fantastic. Um, like I said, this is like one of my secret weapons for getting kids to like into writing. Alexi will easily go through a pack of post-it notes and she just like writes notes and sticks them around the house. Like the dog has notes, like little letters, love letters to him posted around the house on post-it notes. Would she do that in a workbook? Probably not. Will she do it on a post-it note? For sure, hundred percent. So my secret weapon, post-it notes. All right, what else did I pick up? I'm almost done here. Um, I picked up a pack of Sharpies, again, great time to pick up Sharpies. I think they were like 250 for a pack of Sharpies. I've already, actually, and I've already gotten into them. Like I didn't even get them home and filmed before I already broke into the Sharpies. Because again, best time of year to pick up things like pens, Sharpies, and you can never go wrong with black Sharpies. Um, I haven't picked up Sharpies in years actually because I haven't needed them, but I realized I didn't have any black left. So got some black Sharpies. Very happy about it because they will definitely come in handy. Other things I picked up, I got some index cards. Of course I went for the colorful ones. Um, these are great for doing like, if you're doing like flashcards or word walls, um, anything like that, they're really fun. They're also a great option. I'm gonna put them, I'm thinking about maybe doing like a, kind of like a morning menu or like what we're doing today, kind of schedules on them and laminating them and putting them on a ring. So 
these are super simple i think they were a dollar or two dollars for a pack of like the colorful ones and why would you not get colorful when they're they're just cool they're colorful so we'll definitely use those and again something fun to write on and it just gets kids excited things i picked up for myself <laughs> Kid, like I said, it is my favorite time of the year. Um, I picked up these uh, Sharpie S Note markers. They're kind of like a highlighter, colorful highlighters. Again, these are mine. These are because I like pens, I like markers, and I do a lot of like note keeping and journaling and stuff. And so these are for me. They were a great price. Again, back to school season on all the stationery. So. I picked them up for myself and I'm going to hide them for my children. So they don't get those, but that'll be fine. I also picked up some little bookmarks, little magnetic bookmarks. We often make bookmarks for our, when it's one of our like back to school activities, we will make bookmarks and laminate them or like bead strings or things different. We make different kinds of bookmarks to put in their like their workbooks or in their novels or whatever. but. A, we are a huge Star Wars family around here and I saw these and there was six for, I wanna say they were like three bucks. It just seemed like a really good deal and we can share them and put them like in our novel study books or different things. So we'll still make our own, but I also thought these would be really fun just in general. And there are a couple here that I want to put in my, my books too. So we'll share these, but I just thought they were really cute. I think that is pretty much everything I picked up with the exception of I did also get a few things that the kids needed for the fall in general. So every year when we do back to school season, on the first day of like our new school year, I give them a gift bag and it has all of their curriculum as well as all of their new school supplies. So these will all get put into those bags later on today. And that's just become kind of like our tradition. They wake up and they have this gift bag with all their all these cool things in it. So I'll include all of the curriculum, all of the school supplies that I just picked up. And then I'll also, uh, I also put like I'll usually put like a little gift card to like maybe Starbucks or something so that they can go, we'll do workbooks at Starbucks one day and they'll get to work there. I also include an outfit. So I did pick up a dress for each of them at Walmart because they're six bucks and they were super cute. So they both have a dress and I also picked up three pairs of leggings each. So six pairs of leggings total because it's Canada and it gets cold. So for all of that, including all the leggings and Oh, I picked myself up a daily planner as well. So just something for myself. All in, my total was $207. Um, like I said, that includes two dresses, six pairs of leggings, a planner for myself, and all of our supplies for the school year. So I think that's a pretty good cost. Um, considering if your kids are going back to school, you would probably be buying those things anyway, and they probably wouldn't last you all year. That's the other thing is like, I'm because they don't really leave our house too often, or it's very limited amounts of leaving our house, our supplies tend to last really long. So that's what I picked up. I'm excited. Um, like I said, I'm gonna go and put all of these things into their gift bags and get that all set up and all figure it out. So if you want to see what else we're doing to get ready for back to school, you definitely want to make sure you subscribe and click the bell so that you get notifications when I put out new videos, which usually happen on Mondays. And you definitely want to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. So you can see all kinds of cool things that we're doing and how we're prepping for back to school. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next week.